palpate the radial artery. Use two fingers as shown to find the maximal point of pulsation. Then ensure the patient has adequate ulnar collateral supply by performing the modified Allen's test. Note here how you clench the fist and then release the ulnar artery. A positive test is when the blood returns to the hand as shown. Prepare your equipment. Make sure everything is at hand. Ensure you're wearing universal precautions and that you have decontaminated your hands thoroughly. For this procedure, you're going to need a heparinized ABG syringe, gauze, and alcohol wipe and a 21 gauge needle. To prepare the ABG syringe before use, make sure you expel the excess heparin from the syringe. Then affix a 21 gauge needle to the end of the syringe. Ensure that the site is clean and the wrist is at a comfortable angle with a roughly 20 to 30 degrees extension at the wrist. To aid in this procedure, ensure that your right hand is on a stable platform and use your left finger to tense the skin. Once the needle has been inserted slowly into the artery, it should start to fill with arterial blood under its own pressure. Note here how the arterial blood is a red colour, when venous blood is often a dark bluish colour. Once you've removed the needle, ensure that you apply pressure to the arterial puncture site for anything up to five minutes. Ensure that you have disposed of your sharp safely before taking your sample and analysing it in the ABG machine. Ensure that you've expelled any excess air using the filter cap provided in the pack. And once you have accessed the machine, gently insert the syringe into the collecting device. Once a sample is analysed, a readout will be provided. Once the correct patient details and oxygen therapy information has been entered. The parameters provided by the ABG machine are often provided on a paper printout which can then be interpreted using the rules and guidance supplied in this textbook. Again ensure that you dispose of your sample safely at the end of this procedure.